Hello everyone, Hi, welcome everyone. back to the Dog and Partridge, the place of home flying craft tales. If you haven't met him before, it's been real fed up with not going out, brother, <laughs> Alan Partridge. This is my really, really fed up brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. <laughs> Alright folks. <laughs> ah, yes. And welcome, sir. Welcome to the dark side. The dark side of the beer. <laughs> Ooh, that means dark brews. That means <laughs> dark brews. Yeah, this time of the year, our cheery little hearts normally turn to... <laughs> Cheery? What's cheery at the moment, bro? <laughs> Apart from beer, obviously. Bob, the bar doesn't want to go to the pub. <laughs> it's a, that's the case, uh, Well, if you can't go to the pub, come to the pub shed. Come to the pub <laughs> shed. What better? We've still got beer on. We have. So we're going tonight, bro. Well, of course, from the dark side, we've got uh, vanilla port. Oh. Uh, we've got uh, Milky Way Stout. Oh. And we've got Pilgrim's Oak. Where do you want to start, sir? Uh, you are the bar lord, sir. Where would you like to start? <laughs> Start your work away, Crown. Again, Brew UK. I've got no packaging for this now. Like Brew UK is, is a dry, one of those dry kits. We've had one before in the double partridge. Um, they, um, you add, and those three bags of dry malt extracts. Oh, well, yes, I remember. And then you bring them to the boil, and then you add some hops, and then when it's brewing, you're supposed to add some of these. Some of these. It's, I don't know if you can see where it might not be able to see on there. But uh, they look very much like vanilla pots to me. Right? That's because they are vanilla pots. That's why it's called vanilla porter. Ah. Well, that'd be why it's called vanilla porter. <laughs> the only thing is, the kit is a little bit. Uh, until you read the small print at the bottom, the kit doesn't come with vanilla pots. Oh bugger! And they can be quite expensive. Oh well, yes, they can. Yeah. And they're yeah. from a certain region, and uh, it's especially different type of uh, vanilla pots you get, and they're even more expensive. Yeah. Oh, so in the in the during towards the end of fermentation, I've added two of those vanilla pods. Ooh. I've opened it up, split them out, split the vanilla yeah. pods out, and then I've chopped the husks up as well and put Lovely. them in. So see if you can taste vanilla. <laughs> well, it's it's certainly a porter, isn't it? But it looks like that. I'm not getting a lot of vanilla smell. I'm not you. getting a lot of smell of anything, bro. Yeah, that's sure. Sure. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did we like the last dry grain, uh, dry hot one? No, uh, no, not really. It was dry the, malt, sorry. the citra was the last dry. Uh, oh, it was a bit one. watery, wasn't it? Yeah, but it did actually change. A little bit of news for you there. Did it actually change the beer line to the, to the normal diameter? Because I was running on a real small one. <laughs> Got it a little bit warmer, and it was a little bit better. But it wasn't. It was no way punching your face citra. And it was okay. Certainly not boosting citra. Should we go in then and let's have a uh, yeah. Quite pleasant. I quite like that. Yeah, that's a bit of a shock for you there, isn't it? There's, there's a slight. I was going to say, maybe you should have put a bit more vanilla pot in there. Yeah, you more, more, <laughs> just in the background, if you really yes. concentrate. But that's quite nice. It's quite, it's quite, it's rich, obviously. Yeah. Because it's a porter. Mm -hmm. It's rich. It's nice. It's not overly full body, but it's, yeah. it's nice. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Compared to that citrus I had the other week, the, the body of it is quite good. Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I quite like that. That's not bad. And, yeah, it's fine. Do we know how strong that one is, Brad? About four, five, four, six, I think it's in the box. Oh. All the instructions are in there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Good that. Um, out ten. And no dark beers are not your favourite. I, I, dark beer is not my favourite. I do like your dark beer, I must admit. Um, I know, an eight, nine maybe. To me, I could drink that just as easy as I could any normal bitter. If you blindfolded somebody, you'd be probably struggling to tell that it's that dark. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? I reckon it's a 10 out of 10. Oh, he thinks it's a 10 out of 10. I don't go that far, bro. Well, I quite like it. You know, I, I do mean, like it. I'd like it. I'd have another one, and I'd probably have another. I could drink it all night. For a dark beer. This Don't time of year, I wouldn't you? say the same thing in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's locked down, it's getting to. What do you mean, mate? What do you mean? I'm going to change my mind. I think it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> What's next, bro? Uh, next, we're off to Dark Rock. Ooh. And we're off to a full grain now. We're off to a full grain. So obviously, a big bag of grain inside this oh, box. this baby. <laughs> Along with uh, mash timings and bowling uh, ball timings and... Uh, up Hadley's timings and all the rest of the So business. this is a premium all grain beer kit. Yeah. Uh, the Milky Way. This is a chocolate milk spout. Mm -hmm. Oh dear Lord. 
Uh, I think I just looked on the website. I think it was a 4.6, I think I said, it mm-hmm. rose to. It's a rich, creamy stout with subtle chocolate flavours and a complex malty aftertaste provided by roasted barley. Yeah. That's your dog. You can't roast your dog. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, ch- well, think I call my dog barley. <laughs> <laughs> and cocoa nibs. Lactose gives the beer a, a rounded sweetness. Mm, it goes on there. You've got all, yeah. the, all the things in it. I looked on the website. I think there's about 25 quid on it. Yeah, I think, yeah, as well. Full grain, yeah. yeah. And you, you do get a bag of cocoa nibs with this to add uh, during the uh, fermenting station stage. Um, yeah. They go everywhere. Well, they don't go everywhere, <laughs> but when they're in the fermenting, you think, oh, they've dissolved the, um, uh, oh, the cocoa bit has. But uh, the 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 bam. Bam. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Don't pull them down the sink, you're going to unbox the sink. Okay. Um, wifey probably won't be very happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now then. Now then. Now I'm going to be the nose. Hey, oh, some smells oh, going oh. on, aren't you? Eh? That's got it all going on there, hasn't it? I'm getting a lot of, I don't know, coffee. Or it's coffee and chocolate, I think. Yeah. yeah. And some burnt smell going on like you would do from a oh. rich stout. Yes, now, now if this would be a bit more atmospheric. If you yeah. have a dark beer, have a dark beer. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm going in, bro. Okay. Oh, oh, he's not keen. No. You see, now me, I like that. Right. No. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's nice, that. Really? I know why. It's, it's quite sweet, isn't it? It's quite sweet. Mm. Mm. I don't know about... You can taste the chocolate. The chocolate's quite bitter, which you'd expect in a stout. Um, it is a very bittery stout. Uh, and sweet at the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure myself. And then we go. I see, oh, I don't like that. In fact, I, I, don't, I don't like it better than my last one. There's a lot more flavours going on, to be fair. But I think it's going to be a lot, a bit more complex to drink. It, it, it's got all, oh, it's got lots going on there. It's round, it's more flavoursome on the tongue, that is. To yeah, me. but the hops are kicking in as well. Mm. I don't think the hops are quite balanced well with the chocolate for my liking. And you're getting like a, 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 a sweetness and a dryness, and you, my tongue just palate just can't carry. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's confusing. It's sweet, it's dry, it's palate. It's <laughs> sweet. I mean, I'm going to die. It's sweet, but then to me, a dark beer like that should be a little bit like Guinness. Is a little bit sweet as well. Mm. But, mm. I don't like it. Guess what I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> How many pints is with that? Not as many as it was. Oh, right. <laughs> I have had a two trying to get my head around it, but yeah, I still can't get my head around it. I'm not a big massive fan of it. Um, um, yeah. Point that. Seven think, of that. Well, that's the, that's where you're going to start to struggle, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want more than a couple. It's not a session beer, is it? No, definitely not. Or session stout. Guinness is a session stout. Yes. Well, you drink that, but do you go blue in the face? And. Um, what are we thinking out of 10 then, bro? Oh, well, a person, because it's not my personal taste. It's a very good beer. The body's mm. there. Mm. Uh, the flavours are there in big droves. I don't know if yeah. they're quite balanced enough for me. Um, I'm, 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 but I'm still going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm definitely a 9. I'm born in on nearly a 10 for that, you know. Mm. I'll quite like that. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 if you want, bro. It's up to you. It's, it's your own personal flavour. Yeah, I, I just can't bring myself to give a dark beer to 10 out of 10. <laughs> Remember, viewers, <laughs> these, these are our personal flavour tastes oh, yeah. and, you know, recommendations. If you though. like a sweet stout, slightly chocolatey in flavour, ah, you're just going to knock your socks off, that is. Right. Right. Third. third. Three beers. Three beers. Three beers. Three beers. Okay. Next one. We're going to go from um, dry extract to full grain to full extract here. This is one of those from the uh, very popular range festival. I'm sure you've all seen these ones on yeah. the web. And that is Pilgrim's Hope. Pilgrim's Hope. Oh, I reckon we might have had this one at some point. Well, I think we've had these beers, some of these beers like, throughout the past. I wanted to try them again, make sure we're getting the uh, you know full setup yeah. to the beer rather than just out of keg. We've got it through the amp pump and... Uh, this is Festival Premium now, Kits then. Uh, this is Pilgrim's Hope. This is a 5%. Yep. Uh, beer. And the only thing I've done to this beer, anything different to what I did last time, is probably add um, some pure brew. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, it all comes in that little box. Great. How much are those ones, bro? Again, like they're that. about 25 quid, 22 quid, somewhere around there, depending on what area. Uh, hmm, great. Uh, right. And oh. why I've messed up there, bro, I'm gonna have to give you a fresh glass. Oh, oh, he's messed up. 
I'll put your beer down somewhere and I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's an outtake. I'll, I'll edit that out later. <laughs> no, he won't. No, he won't. That's all right, bro. I'll do. <laughs> there we go. Let that settle Hold for a second. Let that settle for a second. This is it. And if you hold it up to the light, it's got a rich, kind of almost redness to it, but at the same time. Oh, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. But quite dark. Well, it's, it's dark beer night, isn't it? It's dark beer night, isn't it? <clears throat> right. Take this off, Dan. It's not doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly, yeah, he's, he's quite uh, red. That was his set, and I'll just pull that straight fairly quick for yeah. me. Paul. Now, I'm pulling his connector to the corner keg like I showed everybody yeah. the other night. Oh, on the technical video, if you missed it, video. video before this one, technical video. <laughs> yeah. And we set that up to the King K. Oh, that's a, a rather different aroma. Well, I'm getting some, I'm getting some good noses. Yeah. Actually. That's some well balanced maltiness with, uh, with, with, with some malts thrown in. That's, that's, good, a, good, good dessert, that's yeah. a very appealing note, actually, yeah. isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, I think it's still enough for me to go in, bro. Go I'm in. going in. Oh, now then. You know what? Oh. It's a bloody kit, and I, I reckon that's about the best beer there is in the bar tonight. It is. It is. That is, that is lovely. That is lovely. That's got everything going on there, hasn't it? There's a good dryness of some mops coming through at the back because it's a good, rich, dark beer with a good... Maltiness. A maltiness with a mm. good dryness of hops. Just all well balanced, if you ask me. 5% this, wasn't it? I think yeah. This one, yeah. So it's a little bit stronger, but yeah, that's got it. Along good. the veins of probably Bateman's Triple X beer or yes. not quite old, peculiar, but... No. Old speckling like and how it used to be. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably a bit... Yeah, just probably a bit better. That is... That's... That's... That's cracking. That's cracking. That's cra I'm going straight in with a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 right? for a festival good kid. Yeah. Yeah. And it's lovely and clear. Yeah. Mm. Cracking. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Although, my teeth are going quite rosy already. <laughs> <laughs> this time of year, quite happy to sink a few of those away. Yes, uh, a lot easier drinking than probably the other two. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because that's just like a, a dark beer. Like a dark beer, please. My Lord. There you go. Mm. But yeah, it, it's pretty more. It's because the... The ops do come through quite well. Yeah, quite punchy still, isn't it? And it just, it's just well balanced. Mm. Just well balanced. The mouthful isn't quite as as full as it would be if it was um, all grain. All grain. Mm. The beer engine does out there, and then just your freshly pulled pint there. Love to give it a little bit more of a of a life. I mean, yeah, cracking. Yeah. That's lovely. Ten out of ten for me, Brad. Right? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Oh, well done. Like that. Lovely. Thank you very much. It's okay. Anytime. I, 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 that's it. Three beers done. Three beers. Boom. 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 In there, won't we, eh? Like that, eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next time. Go on. Oh, next time, then. Okay, what's he got? Malt Miller. You said this last time. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> Bell's Two Hearted IPA. Yeah. How come I said that last time? Because I, mean, I, I, I didn't get the order right. <laughs> so. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, Dark Rock Guinness. Oh, another middle down one. St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale. Lovely job, yeah. So we've got a couple of all grain kits there and a full extract kit there. So Excellent. something for everybody. Next time. Next time. And hopefully next time, bro. Oh, I have been look. We're, we're approaching the thousand marks. We're approaching right? fastly. Very fast as well, actually. Yes, exactly. thousand <laughs> mark. So next time, you never know, there might be a big announcement for a Might be a thousand subscriber. Well, I'll have to get him some beer or something, bro. Yeah. <laughs> If you're the lucky thousand subscribers, like you can't unsubscribe and resubscribe. You're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you might get even an invite to Dublin Parties when it's no lockdown. Oh, so that's 2023. <laughs> 2025, <laughs> probably. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Lockdown night seven. We might be there. Oh, God. Anyway, anyway, talking about uh, subscribers to YouTube, if you're watching us on Facebook or any other platform, get over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button, please. And to all our new subscribers, Thank you very much indeed. It's muchly appreciated. Yes. Stay tuned next time for more great beer reviews. More, more great beer reviews. And then until next time, it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from me. Cheers, Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Ray.